what's up what's good what's going on family so i want to jump on really quick i can't spend too much time and see what's going on what is it that you need to know about the person on your mind what is it that the sagittarian ninth house collective needs to know about the person on their mind general messages guys um you know how it goes only take what resonates for you and leave the rest for someone else okay all right, Spirit, what is it that the Sagittarian Ninth House Collective needs to know about the person on their mind at this time? So we have releasing, letting go, moving on, walking away. Kind-hearted, charming, graceful, exhaustion, depletion, drained, long journey. Let's see, what's going on with the person on Sagittarius's mind? Damn, exhaustion. What's going on? This person is missing you. So this person, what's going on with this person is they're walking away from something that is 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 depleting them. It, it's draining for them. This the very next card that comes out is thanking this person is missing you. This person is craving you, desiring you. Oh, damn! It says only you. Single, lonely, solitary. <sighs> Both of these cards say crave. What's going on with the person on Sagittarius's mind? Oh, dang. It could be your divine masculine. Dang. I just heard that uh, Pichka song, but it's got sh sh uh, Shariah in it too. I think it's called Divine Masculine. Um, this person that's your that's on your mind, they are showing up as Divine Masculine energy. It looks like that this person is at some sort of breaking point. There is there they are move letting go, moving on, walking away from a situation that is draining and depleting them. I'll have to wait till I dive into this. To see if this, like, because this person can be deciding to walk away from a situation with you that is depleting them and draining them. But even though they're doing that, they are missing you because this is your divine masculine. Let's just see. Okay. So, or, you know, what I really think it is, is that someone is walking away from another situation here. Okay. But that card at the bottom of the deck, it did say only you. So let's just see. Let's not speculate too much here. What is this person walking away from, releasing, letting go of? The page of wands. This is, um, it could be, they could be walking away from someone born between June the 21st and September the 22nd. Doesn't necessarily have to be, but I feel like that this is, um, Uh, it's definitely an unrequited situation. Um, this is going to be received as good news for you, Sag. Let me see. What is it that this person is walking away from? What is this person walking away from? Thank you, Spirit. Wow, we have another page. What is this person walking away from? Could be March 21st through June 20th. It's like that June time frame is. Let me see. Yeah, damn. So I do feel like that this person is releasing a situation that they have tried to reconcile, that they could have been married and or committed to this situation. I do feel like that all hope, like, like they feel like that they've lost hope inside of this situation. I do feel like that they're, they're somewhere along the lines, it says confrontation may arise. So this person could be anticipating some sort of drama 
to arise because this person is walking away from a situation that they have made a, de a decision, a final decision not to reconcile. Hmm. Can you show me, is this them walking from Sag? Five of Wands, the presence of conflict. I feel like that that's competition. Like, I feel like that, the, you know, I don't necessarily feel like it's a rivalry. See, it says rivalry. So there's some, this is a third party situation. This is definitely someone, um, it looks like that this person has tried to reconcile a situation multiple times. Let me see. What's this exhaustion, depletion, long journey? Exhaustion, depletion, drained, long journey. Can you please clarify this for me, for Sagittarius, for the person on their mind? It does say this. It does say this person is definitely at a breaking point. So it looks like to me, if I'm be honest with you, because right behind that, we have the runner. This person is longing for you, okay? This person is longing, infatuated. They have, they adore you, okay? However, I do feel like that. I don't know. We got running. This says ghosting, disappearing, invisible. This person is kind of like at a wit's end. I do feel like that this person could be withdrawing. This person is definitely withdrawing from a situation. Let's see. What's going on? What is this exhaustion energy for the person on Sagittarius's mind? Thank you, Spirit. The Ace of Cups in the reverse, in the world card, in the reverse. This person is absolutely um, at their wit's end. And it's like, no matter which way that they approach a situation, it's not working. It's like feelings of negativity. This person is feeling emotionally drained. Um, I feel like that after there's some sort of long journey that's coming to an end here. If this card, the Ace of Cups in the reverse even says break up. Um, and I feel like that this breakup is coming after a long journey of trying to make this work. But the friction and the chaos, the approach just it was, it's not working. It's not working here. Okay. So someone is deciding to escape from what traps them. They're making a stance to set themselves free from something here. All right, Spirit, can you please clarify um, thanking? Give me just a second, Sag. Bray Sagittarius, let's get over here. Look, this person wants a new beginning with you. It says thanking, missing, craving, the uh, missing you craving, desiring. So I definitely feel like that someone is like, mm, I don't know. I feel like that this person is having to, this person is again ready to make, let me see. I got somebody tired of watching. I, I feel like that I got somebody that's tired of holding back. Okay, that's what I feel like. That's what it's feeling like to me. What is this thinking, missing you, craving, desiring? So the person on your mind is definitely thinking about you, Sag. They're missing you. They're craving you. They're desiring you. However, there is, there, it looks like that there's some delays, okay? This person desires to leave something behind. They know that they have to leave something behind in order to come towards you. And I do feel like that there are some delays in doing so. If I'm going to be honest with you, I feel like that there could be this energy of, um, I don't know, could there be some sort of monetary um, loss if this person walks away from a situation? They desire to walk away from it. However, there would be some sort of monetary loss OK, this person, I feel like that this person could have walked away from you in an effort not to miss some sort of monetary, like not in an effort not to lose something financially. 
or to not lose their stability. They definitely did something. Uh, it's like they desire to walk away from something, but they're holding on to it for a sense of stability. What does this mean for Sagittarius? What does this mean for the, like, what does this mean? It means that it looks like that this person may be deciding to conform to society rules. Okay. So let me just say this. I don't know, says this person, the person on your mind, they're releasing, letting go, moving on, depleted, drained. They're missing you. This is showing up as your divine masculine. Um, my question is, let's get an answer. Is this person walking away from Sagittarius? Like, let me just get a major arcana if this person is walking away from Sagittarius. They're not walking away from you. They're walking away from something else. What does this mean for you? This person is having a hard time due to some sort of societal outlook. Okay? This person is desiring to make some sort of decision, but there is some sort of religious, um, there's something that is preventing this person and it has a lot to do with the, their culture, their upbringing, their community perception of them. Wow. Hell, this person could be married to someone else. Let's see. Missing you, craving, desiring. Yeah. I feel like that this is someone that is recognizing how their decisions and choices um, brought an imbalance to what was a balanced and harmonious relationship at one point in time. And this person is wanting something new. This person is wanting a new beginning. I'm just not sure. <laughs> Either it's like, here's the thing. There's something to do with money that is holding this person back from taking action towards what it is that they're craving and truly desiring and missing, okay? So what this is telling me is that they're exhausted. There's, they feel a sense of stability inside of a situation that is draining and exhausting them. They feel like that if they walk away from that, that they may lose a sense of stability coming towards Sagittarius. And I really feel like that this has a lot to do because they could be feeling like that if they make this decision that they may be walking away from a community. Yeah, I see this person. Yeah, lack of support via the community. Yeah. This person, there's definitely some sort of fear surrounding societal rules, tradition, religion, something like that, that is holding this person back. And this could be that someone is like married, committed elsewhere. And it's like, I don't know, maybe this person fears that if they leave this connection and go towards you, that they'll lose the support of the community, the queen of swords in the reverse. Or if they leave that connection and come to you, they'll lose the support of you. I definitely feel like that there's troubles and conflicts within a relationship because of some manipulation. Someone got clouded by their judgment or someone got uh, judgment was clouded by their emotions here. 
this divine masculines was for sure. So guys, what I'm going to do is I am going to roll the dice, see who this is, read the cards out. I'm going to take this over to the members because I want to see what is the outcome of this. Where is this headed? Like this is what's going on. If you wanted to know what's going on with the person on your mind, that's that. But if you want to know what is the outcome of this, let's go check this out on members. Um, I'm going to roll the dice and see what zodiac sign this can potentially be. And then I'll read out the major arcana. So we have a Gemini, Sagittarius, Leo, Capricorn um, on the board. What do we have on the board, Spirit? Let's see. Scorpio. All of the fixed signs. Uh, Capricorn, which is not a fixed sign, but it's the world card, Saturn. So Capricorn. And then we have Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, and Taurus. Taurus. So that's what we got. So if that seems like this is your story and you want to see where this is headed with this person, come hang out with me. Peace, love, and light.